I can't prove it, mind you, but I suspect the man's a drug dealer. Hmm. Yeah, methamphetamine. I mean, honest to God, I really believe that, uh, that this guy is maybe one of the biggest movers in the Southwest. Remember Gail Bedecker? The, uh, that's the sad sack from the karaoke videotape? Yeah. And you said that he didn't strike you as being the boss man type, that probably there was a much bigger guy uh, out there, right? I think that was, uh, that was just speculation. It doesn't matter. It made me keep at it. And guess what I find? Chicken Man's fingerprints at Bedecker's murder scene. So we bring him in. You think that, that Gustavo Fring killed Gail Bedecker? Oh, yeah, probably not. I mean, these guys used to get, you know, like a, a dunce to pull the trigger, right? But his fingerprints being there was enough for us to bring him in. Mm. So, I, so you, you, you brought him into the police? Right. He sits down to talk with us. The problem is that he... What did you ask him? What, what did he say? <laughs> Walt, will you let me finish my story here? <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm, I'm just uh, interested, you know. So. Yeah. All right, well, anyway, so we bring him in, and he proceeds to kick our asses. Okay, he's got an explanation for the fingerprints, all right? He's got an alibi for Gail's murder. I mean, he's got reasons for everything. This guy is terms of endearment convincing. So, so he's not guilty? Yeah, as far as DEA and APD are concerned, he's not. Officially, Fring's not a suspect. But I'm telling you, something deep down says he's my guy. Just gotta prove it. Hank, why, why are you telling me this? I need a favor. What favor? See that uh, Volvo station wagon over there? <laughs> I mean, the guy drives a 10-year-old Volvo. It's brilliant. Anyway, listen. Uh, what I need for you to do, stick this on it. GPS tracker. You know, wifey thinks hubby's uh, screwing around on her, but she wants to be sure. Hmm. You stick this on the car. This right here, right here. It's a magnet. And see where he goes. Cool, huh? 289 from Sky Mall. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not it's not live view, so we gotta come back later and you know take it off and stick it in the computer. But still, we pretty amazing times we live in here. Hank, isn't that illegal? I mean, isn't there's some sort of Unlawful search and that's uh, something that really it's known as extra legal, but it's, trust me, it's a little, our little secret. <laughs> Look, it's easy, okay? Here's what you do you untie your shoelace and you head toward the restaurant. As you're walking past the car, you look down, oh, hey, darn, my shoe's untied, okay? Now, when you, when you, when you bend down to tie your shoe, you um, stick this up into the wheel well. Then you go inside and. You Thank know, God, and I, I don't. I don't feel good about this at all. Look, Walt, I, I, I know that this kind of thing is outside your comfort zone. No, I mean that this is a mistake. Walt, I need you to help me out here, okay? I mean, this is really important to me. Jesus, just you make me beg you? Come on, just stick it in there. Yeah. Just act normal. May I help you? Uh, uh, sir, may I help you? I didn't do it. See, I didn't do it. Do it. Do it. May I help you with your order? 